Welcome to EZLM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on Form 2 Mathematics and our topic for today is indices and logarithms and our subtopic for today is fractional indices. So we are going to work out on how we use the fractional indices in different calculations and then you're going to do a few practice questions on the same. So when you look at the fractional indices, we are going to go back a bit on uh, cube root, uh, fourth root, and fifth root. We know that a power 2 or the cube, the, the square of a, if you get the square of a is equal to b, it means that that's the same as the square root of b. So what you do, you square both sides. You've seen us do this a lot in our form 1 work. If it's cube root, you you, if it's cube, you do the cube root as we did in our previous lessons. So you get that. If it's fourth root, fourth, uh, or a power four, you do the fourth root both sides and you end up having the fourth root of our value. So let's look at this example, for example. Using the laws that we have already discussed, if you have four power a half times four power half, we said if you have the same base, indices under the same base, and there's a multiplication, means that you're going to add the indices. Let's do the same. So it's going to be four into bracket a half plus a half, which will give us four power one, which is the same as four. So this tells us this four, it must, if you look at the multiples of four, it's going to be two times two for us to get this four. This tells us that 4 power half times 4 power half gives us a multiple of 2 times 2, which tells us like 1 of the, that is the 4 power a half is equals to 2, and the other one, 4 power a half is equals to 2. So this tells us that 4 power half is equals to 2, but the only way we can be able to get 2 from this value is from the square root of 4. The value of 2 is got from the square root of 4. So this tells us that 4 power a half is equal to 2. It tells us the same as the square root of 4, which gives us 2. So this makes us to conclude that when a number is raised by a fraction index, it means you have to get the nth root of that fraction. So in this case, it's 4 power half. It means it's the square root because it's 1 over 2. If it was 4 power a third, it's the same as the third root of 4. If it is 4 power 1 over 4, it means it's the fourth root of 4. So that's how our fractional indices are going to look like. Let's do a few examples so that you can understand what we mean. So if you have 16 uh, power 3 over 4, so the first thing we are going to separate, we can separate our fractions so that you can see what we mean. So this is the same as 16 power 1 over 4 times 3. So you notice 1 over 4 times 3 is the same as 3 over 4. So we can separate that into 16 power 1 over 4 into bracket times 3. That's what it basically means. So that when you open this bracket, you get 3 over 4. And you said 1 over 4, it's the same as 4th root now of 16. So the inner value becomes the 4th root of 16, not forgetting the bracket, which is 3. You see how we separated the fraction, the 3 over 4, into simpler terms. So 3 over 4 is the same as 1 over 4 times 3. And then we introduced the bracket. And remember when you introduce the bracket, the law that we said when you open the bracket, you just multiply. So we open the bracket, but the inner value we have only or already discussed. So if 16 is raised to the power of 1 over 4, it misses the fourth root of 16. And then we do not forget the power 3 that is on the outside bracket. So this is the same as, remember how we were using factors? You can use factors. So 16, if you use 2, this is going to be 8. Uh, and then 2, 4, and then 2, 2. This is the same as 2 power 4. And don't forget the 
3 outside. So this gives us the fourth root of 2 power 4 gives us 2, but don't forget the power outside. So this becomes 2 power 3, which is the same as 8. So this value 16 power 3 over 4, we get 8. And that's how we work it out. Let's see another question. So now we have a negative value. Remember we talked about the negative indices. You introduce a fraction. So that's the first step you're going to do. So it's 4 power negative a half. So we change this into 1 over 4 power negative a half. Power a half, not negative. So this is the same as 1 over the square root of 4, basically. So this is the same as 1 over the square root of 4 is 2, gives us a half. You can write this in another way as 2 power negative 1 is still the same. Right, let's do another question. So we have this value, see this is a bit bigger. So we are going to tackle 1 at a time. So we start with 513. Power 2 over 3. So 5 12 over 2 power. So we will se separate the fractions so that you can work it out slowly. This is the same as 5 12. Um, a third times 2. Remember what we did? This is the same as 5 12 a power a third into bracket power 2. So we work this out. This is the same as that root. So the third root of 5 12 and then into bracket 2. So when you look at the third root of 5 12, that is the same as 8 times 8 times 8. So it's the third root of 8 power 3 into bracket squared. So 8 power 3, the third root of 8 power 3 is 8. So it becomes 8 into bracket squared which gives us 8 squared for the 5 13. And then we go to 8 power a third. So 8 power a third means it's the third root of 8, as we've said. So remember, 8 is the same as 2 times 2 times 2, which is the third root of 2 power 3, which is the same as 2. So remember how we are solving one value at a time. So it's when we look at the values we have so far now, it's 8 power 2 times 2 power 1 divided by 2 power 6. So we can put them under the same base of this 8. So 8 is the same as 2 power 3. So this becomes 2 power 3 into bracket 2 times 2 power 1 divided by 2 power 6. So this becomes 2 power 6 times 2 power 1 divided by 2 power 6. So this is 2, 6 plus 1 minus 6. So 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 minus 6 is 1. So we get our answer as 2 power 1, which is the same as 2. All right, let's do another one. So we have this value, so it integrates all the uh, values you have discussed so far, the fraction, the laws of multiplication and division. So we'll do it one at a time. So we'll start with the first value that is 9a squared into bracket a third over 64. We'll work this out first. So 9a square times a third this is the same as when you square 9 you get 81 a power a squared no the the square is not for 9 so let's correct that so it's 9 a squared to bracket a third over 6 power 4. Yes, like that. So we know that a third means cube root. So this tells us we're going to get the cube root of 9a square. So if we separate this, we get the cube root 
of 9, let's separate that, times the cube root of a squared. So the cube root of 9, remember 9 is the same as 3 times 3. And this means our value is going to be a decimal value, and you do not want that. So it means when you get the third root of 9, we're going to get a decimal. So we're just going back to work it out as it is. So 9a squared becomes 3 power 2, a power 2. Then into bracket, a third. So we open the bracket to give us 3 power 2 over 3, a power 2 over 3 which is the same as 3a to bracket 2 over 3. And then we go to the next again, 4b, b squared into bracket a third. This is the same as 2 power 2, b power 2 into bracket a third. If you separate them, it becomes 2, 2 over 3 and b, 2 over 3 which is the same as 2b into bracket 2 over 3. So what we have now, if we use those values, it becomes 3a into bracket 2 over 3 power 2 over 3 times 2b into bracket 2 over 3 all over 6 a times 5b. So that is what we have so far. So we can put the light terms together. So when you use, we write this value in whole, it means it's 3a power 2 over 3 times 2b power 2 over 3 divide into bracket. 6a times 5b. That's how it is. So we can choose to work it out one at a time or we take the values that are similar or the a's and the b's with the same base. So you can use the numerator and denominator in this fraction or you can make it easy to make your work easier. So if you pick the a's, for example, we have the 3 a power 2 over 3 divided, divide, divide, divided by 6a. And then we have the 2b power 2 over 3. Remember, this is for the whole. Divided by 5b. So this gives us, so this is the same as 3 power 2 over 3, a 2 over 3, divided by 6, a. So if you look at the specific values for this, we can be able to cancel out, because this is 3 power 2 over 3, a power 2 over 3, divided by 6, a. So if you look at the a values, you get that it's a power 2 over 3 minus 1. Because you can see these are a in the denominator with a power of 1. So it is 2 over 3 minus 1. We get 2 over 3 minus 1 gives us a power negative a third, which is the same as... 1 over a power a third. So the same case with the b, it becomes b 2 over 3 minus 1. So it is a power b power a negative a third. That is 1 over b power a third. So when you look at our new value, uh, let's do a bit of some verbing. So we made a slight error with our 6 power 4. We, we used it as 6a instead of 6 power 4. 
So just let's uh, highlight that and make that correction and do the question. So we had said 9a squared is the same as 3 a power 2 over 3. We had already done this times 4 uh, uh, 2 b into bracket uh, 2 over 3 so over 6 power 4 times 5a so when we fix the 6 power 4 so when you look at 6 it's the same as 2 times 3 so it is power 4 power 4 this is the same as 2 power 4 times 3 power 4 so let's do that again so it is 3 if we separate, it's 2 power over 3 times a power 2 over 3 times 2 power 2 over 3 times b power 2 over 3 over 2 power 4 times 3 power 4. You saw how we separated. If we look at the value 6, it has a multiple of 2 times 3. All of them are in the power of 4. So if you open the bracket, since each has a power of 1, 1 becomes that. So times 5a. So we can work, work out the values that are similar. So we can put them together. So 3 power 2 over 3 over 3 power 4 times 2 power 2 over 3 over 2 power 4 times a power 2 over 3 over a times b power 2 over 3 over 5 like that so two, 3 power 2 over 3 minus 4 it means we are working out we are subtracting because they are the same so it is 2 over 3 minus 4 which gives us a uh, 3 power negative 10 over 3 and then also for the 2 it's 2 2 power 3 minus 4 which gives us 2 power negative 10 over 3 as well so we have 3 power negative 10 over 3 times 2 power negative 10 over 3 times if you do the 2 over 3 minus 1 you get a power negative 1 over 3 times b power 2 over 3 over 5. So this is what we have. This is the same as 1 over 3 power 10 over 3 times 1 over 2 negative 10 over 3 times 1 over a a third times b power 2 over 3 over 5. Five. So that is what we have. So we end up having b power 2 over 3, everything over 3 power 10 over 3 times 2 power 10 over 3 times a power 3 times 5 power 1. So this is our value. So that brings us to the end of the session. So we get to do a bit more revision questions and notes on the same uh, if, you, if you get to the half. Uh, and so I'll see you in the next lesson.